right. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another round of coffee questions, or like I said, it's late in the day, so it's going to be water. So today's topic was um, I get a couple of questions asked to me, especially when I write things like on some of these forums about countersink bits. Now, I use two different types. Now, the first one you see in the picture, and I'm going to go through them kind of quickly because I'm going to take you out in the garage and show you actually how I do this. But these are an inexpensive set, eight bucks. I tacked them onto a shipment and I had them shipped. I figured, hey, look, I'll give it a try. I mean, it gets like three and a half stars. Maybe it'll work just for a while. I've used these a lot and they work fine. And I mean, I don't put them through any extraneous force. I mean, I've just used them on pine wood, two by fours, two by sixes, stuff like that when I was building the patio cover in my workbench. These work great. Drills the hole and at the same time, it's creating a countersink hole or the, you know that chamfer where the screw or the bolt can set down into there. Now, in the case of these, these are good for screws. They're not big enough for really any kind of a bolt, but they work great. Now, I'll show you, I turned around after I got these and I thought, well, you know, I understand it comes with an Allen key and you can quickly and easily swap out a drill bit if you busted it or something like that and continue using the countersink part of it. So it's kind of a nice little feature. Um, you can read through the reviews. I'll leave the link below, but I want to show you the next picture of the next set that I bought. So give me just a sec. Okay, now here's a picture of that seven piece set that I bought and it comes from Urzug or however you say that name and it was $14. Um, a little bit better quality set, yes. You still can uh, swap out the drill bits with that little Allen wrench. These are much better cutting. I mean, I can tell when I use them and they're a great set just to have laying around so that you can drill countersink at the same time. And it's got that nice little, you know, split point there for like precision. So, I mean, I don't need to worry about pressing in on the wood and trying to, you know, create this little dimple, I mean, to drill. These things are sharp, they're accurate. I think they work great. So this is the other set that I have, but I'm gonna take you out in the garage in just a few minutes and show you how I use the set that I have. Um, this set I don't have with me right now to show you, but I'll leave the link to this below. But I want to show you a couple of more pictures about this particular set before we go out there. Okay, in this picture here, like I said, I'll go through these quick, hit the space bar if you want to, or these same pictures are available on the Amazon link I'll leave below. But um, I'll move my picture here in a sec, but you can see how it ranges in sizes and in the millimeters. And it tells you the millimeters, you know, of the little Allen wrench it comes with. So this gives you an idea of the sizes that ships. I mean, if you decide to buy the set, like I said, I find them handy, but I want to show you the rest of these pictures before we move on. Okay, so in the above picture, it's just showing you the tip. Like I said, it's got like that split tip to it for precision. You know, when you're wanting to drill down into something, it's got the little Allen head that you can remove and you can swap out drill bits. The picture to the bottom left is showing you after you use this, I mean, you can really sink these down in there and almost hide them if you wanted to. And the picture over here to my right, I mean, is showing you how it creates that bevel. Now with these, unlike the other one I'm gonna show you, it makes a really smooth, clean beveling cut when it countersinks. So it's another thing that I really liked about these. It didn't leave that, you know, that rough surface, but I'm gonna show you how to fix that when we get out to the shop. Couple more photos. Okay, and in this one, this is just showing you how simple it is to remove that drill bit and replace it, or you can put it on whatever you want, I mean, drill bit wise, but uh, it comes with some pretty decent drill bits, I think. I mean, they're not the highest quality, like from Germany or something like that, but they're very doable, nice drill bits. All right, this is the last photo, and then we're going to go right on out to the shop. You can use it in wood, PVC, plywood, plastic, like it says. Is it going to fit into an impact drill? No, it's not meant for impact drills, but uh, like it said, a bench drill, hand drill, or any conventional electric drill, and that's what I use them for. Okay, let's head out to the shop. I'll leave the links below. You can always go back, hit pause, whatever you want to do, but let's get right to a little quick demonstration of how I use them. The first time around, I bought a very cheap set of countersink bits. It actually drills countersinks at the same time. So I have one hooked up in my drill right here. Cool. 
All right, might pick up a little wind noise here. It's uh, pretty windy today. Here's a piece of wood, all right? And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I'll hold it up and I'm gonna drill this hole. And here we go. Now, in wood, that counter sunk pretty good. Now, these drill bits, even though this is a cheap set, and I'll leave the link below, I think I paid about $8 for a set of these. But I did buy the much better set, so I'll leave that in the link too. Now, what's nice about these is if you take a look at the wood, it made a nice, clean chamfer right there. All right, now I also have done it the other way, especially with steel. Um, I'm gonna use a piece of wood because the question that was asked to me related to wood and the wood project. So here's just a drill bit. I'm just gonna drill a hole real quick. Okay, I didn't show it to you, it's just drilling a hole, it's right here. Okay, so now, the way that I did do this, and I still do when it comes to steel, this right here is a bimetal bit, so I can use this metal, wood, plastic, PVC, whatever. But I use this, I mean, quite a bit even on wood because this thing retains a really sharp edge. And I'll leave the link below, but this is all you do. There's a trick to it. Okay, there's the hole again. Now, I'm gonna take this, and I'm just gonna do this. All right. Now, I just made a few hits on the drill. You can see right here, it does do it and it will work like on a lot of rough projects, but let's say you wanted that super smooth hole. All you have to do is put your drill in reverse. Okay, now after I've drilled down a little bit and with that countersink bit, I'm gonna put it in that same hole, same hole. You do it just for a couple of seconds and you'll see in reverse, it cleans it up and it makes it nice, smooth, concave countersink hole. Just a quick tip, try this out in your shop sometime if you have these kind of bits. Um, I use these quite a bit. I like using these on steel more than anything else. Now, the drill countersink combination right here, I used this when I built that patio. Uh, it was a lot faster. I mean, I could go like right into a two by four and right when I'm drilling it, I'm creating that countersink hole and it worked out great. And I have these in a lot of different sizes. So I'd suggest you take a look, at least take a look at the ones that I dropped below. You can get a set of these inexpensive ones for about $8. I just tagged it on with another shipment of stuff that I had because I wanted to try it. A lot of criticism, hey look, these are just small, they're cheap, they're this, they're that. I've used the hell out of these for eight bucks. Now I did buy a much better set, I'll leave you that link too. These are things for you to consider when you're out in the shop and you want to do some countersinking. Okay, and this works real handy, I think like on the horseshoe projects that I make because I can drill a hole in steel, I can turn around and I can use one of these right here, these bimetal ones and I can create that chamfer so that when that screw goes down, it'll sink down in and I got that nice smooth surface and you don't have like this screw head sticking up and it just, it just looks cleaner, it looks better. And I like to finish my projects that way. Same thing on wood, when I do my wooden signs, this is the bits that I use. They're not expensive, they've worked great. Those uh, inexpensive cheap ones like I keep referring to here where you know, people will always say something crummy in these reviews, but these work great. I use the hell out of these. Like I was saying, I probably have made hundred signs or more, and I've used these and it still works. So 
Okay, that's kind of like my quick tip. Use the reverse speed when you're using the bigger ones. Instead of getting that choppy, like countersink hole, you'll get that nice smooth one just by putting it in reverse and hitting it a couple of times. All right, so I hope you folks enjoyed this quick tip of the day. I'll see you on a project this weekend. We'll try to think up something, or I'll throw up a couple more quick tip videos for you. Thank you very much. Don't forget, comment. If you've got something better that you bought or you have another way of doing it, drop a comment. I hope you click subscribe. I hope you keep following me. Give me a thumbs up and thank you. Bye-bye.